Good morning. Excuse me, this is the first time I've talked all morning. So today I'm starting off the day with um, Bailey's Buds Organic No-Till Living Soil. This one's gonna be the Blue Dream Sour Jack from the Boston Gardens one year anniversary. It's got like 3.54% terpenes um, with uh, like 2% piney. So keep in mind that I've been holding on to this for like a month. <laughs> Today I'm gonna use my OCB roller that I got from CB Disco just to roll a little bit of a joint and I'm gonna take you with me so you can see how it's done. This is kind of like the direction it is, the shorter end. Like, you know, when you fold it in, you want the little pieces to be right here. So, gotta grab my pack of papers. Someone once told me, fold it into a W for weed or an M for marijuana. Pop that in there. This is the messy part we want to get the grinder for. Oh, I don't know if I ground up enough. So I like to hold that down because otherwise it'll just kind of like pop out. So you want to have it all packed in like that, not not like overflowing, you know, like just enough and not super tight. And then push it in. Drop all your weed on the ground. That's really important. Um, the most important part is to drop your rolling tray. Drop all your weed on the ground. Uh, empty out the rest of that weed so you've got more to drop on the ground later. And I like to roll it through, get the rest of that extra out. Grab the paper. You want to just kind of like put it in and then start turning. It will be a little bit crooked like that, you know? You're all ready to open it up and Ta-da! There's my Blue Dream Sour Jack. And I like to usually use my nails to like push it down a little bit further and like close it up. If you don't have nails, I don't know, find a stick or something. Not my problem. Get nails. It does smell a little bit like walking through an apple orchard. It's definitely sour. Like I love what, the intensity in which it like kind of kicks me in the back of the throat. There's something so earthy about it, like an like an orchard. I'm immediately feeling this like centered centered sense of energy that's like radiating from my chest through my shoulders. I have this kind of running around, need to finish and en everything energy right now. This reminds me of playing with the dough at Bertucci's when I was a kid. There's like an actual physical warmth that I'm feeling. It's giving burnt apple crisp. Burnt and unseasoned apple crisp. That sounds kind of rude. What I mean to say here is that it tastes like somebody made an apple crisp and forgot to put the cinnamon in. So it's like cooked apples. That's what I was going for. That's what I was trying to say. There's something herbaceous about it, too. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if it's like basil or rosemary or what. The head eye is incredible. Um, the way it just feels like my head is physically floating separately from my body. Lovely. Smoking this is what listening to Mastermind by Taylor Swift feels like. Like I could be <coughs> a, vi <coughs> a vinyl record right now. My legs have been really hurting from concerts and events the past couple of days, and that's completely gone. Period cramps, gone. They weren't that intense to begin with, but still. 
amazing wake and bake. This and some eggs, oh my god. I'd lose my motherfucking mind. It's one of those weeds that makes me believe I can dance, even though I know I can't dance. Like, it just makes me believe that, like, if I tried to moonwalk right now, I could. I'm not going to because I don't want to ruin that illusion. I want to live in that mind space. You know? Eat it up. It gives me the confidence to convince anybody that I'm 10 years older than I am. If I was going to try to lie to someone, this is what I would smoke first. I feel centered and not like racy, but busy. Do you think there are different strains of tobacco? Like how there's different strains of weed? Anyways. What a lovely little spark joy moment day. Thank you so much for watching. It's so great to be back. Sorry about the lower quality. I just don't have time to do it in higher quality. Let me know if it's that much of an issue. You know? Um, but hopefully it's not. Love you. Bye.